thank you that you have made each of us in your image and likeness. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is true. Yeshua wrote that prayer is meaningless unless it is subversive, unless it seeks to overthrow and to ruin the pyramids of callousness, hatred, opportunism, falsehood. That the intention of life must always be to be a benefit to humanity and to prevent any harm to humanity and all creation. If this was the criteria, we pray that Kada Asmal gets the reward for according to the best of what he has done and what he has left as a legacy to us. We pray that his family is comforted. Thank you very much, uh, religious leaders. I'd now like to call on His Excellency Brendan McMahon. Cather won not just the admiration, but also the affection of Irish people. As you may know, Irish people have a bit of a reputation for talking. We love to talk. We love the art of conversation. And by God, Cather could talk. <laughs> he excelled in the art of the cut and thrust of conversation. It was his command of that art of conversation and his obvious humanity and basic decency which won him great affection from Irish people from all walks of life. Co-founder of the Irish anti-apartheid movement, very, very close friend and confident, Kerry. Founded the Irish anti-apartheid movement, well, in actual fact, of course, it was Cader and Louise who had come to Ireland in 1963 who called together a meeting in the Mansion House in Dublin to found the Irish anti-apartheid movement. I just got in from Ireland this morning and I've come specially to pay tribute to my dear old friend Cader, my colleague in the anti-apartheid movement, my mentor, and pay tribute and sympathy with Louise Cader's wonderful helpmate and wife over close on 50 years. To most of you, you only know him of his great achievements throughout his life and the changes he made for this country. But not many of you know his personal loving and caring side. We only knew him as Grandpa, the Grandpa that would show us off at every opportunity, the Grandpa that would introduce us to people by pinching our cheeks, hugging us and embarrassing us. We presented a picture to him at his 40th wedding anniversary and made a speech and got tremendously overwhelmed over only managing to say three mumbled words in 10 minutes. And lastly, he loved combing my hair with an extremely hard brush to make me look neat and presentable. It's up to us now to take up the banner and forget our quarrels. We must march resolutely towards a South Africa that is free, non-racial, non-sexist, and where the poorest of the poor can lift themselves up to share in the wealth of our country. Those are the ideals for which Cardo lived, and I hope we can work together to bring them to fruition. As happy as he was to live to witness the fading away of apartheid darkness, he retained his sharp and critical mind and was as vigilant as ever. To you, Louise, the rock upon which Comrade Carter stood, we know you have not only lost a husband, but also you have lost a companion, a friend, and a comrade. He seemed to have set the standard even higher in all of the endeavors he set his sights on. As government, as private sector, as civil society, as leaders, as individuals, we must continue to adhere to this vision. Death is our destiny. Life is our course. Go well. Eminent member of the Order of Lutuni. Long live the spirit of Professor Kada Asman. Long live. Long live the spirit of Kada Asman. Long live.
Long live the spirit of Carla Nassimal, long live. Friends, colleagues, organizations and governments from all over the world, the knowledge that my father touched so many people and so many lives has provided a great sense of comfort for me and I, I'm sure I can speak on behalf of all my family. So I would like to thank everybody for honoring my father. Thank you very much.